Right Year 13. This is a further um, way of trying to understand IDA. So looking at examples of how to extend your issues, debates and approaches, evaluative points in your efforts. Basically, you're going to try adding more depth. So, we could say, equally, both models also ignore cultural differences. Research has been done mainly on women and Western cultures, so it is hard to generalise to other cultures. Well, I've seen that so many times, but actually, do we know the title of this essay? Is this relevant, or can it be put into a whole load of essays? The fact is, it could be put into a whole load of essays, so it's not very good. So we could say, this is about dieting. Equally, both models also ignore cultural differences. Research has been carried out that suggests some cultures find it much harder to diet because of a natural tendency to obesity. Park et al. discovered that Asian adults are more prone to obesity than European adults. Both theories also fail to take into account the factor of free will, but are determinist that an individual's behaviour is predictable and lawful. It ignores the fact that an individual is capable of self-determinism. Now that is really good evaluation. Okay, We know it's about dieting, so it's not just a piece of evaluation which has been sort of put into um, any old essay. However, I also want to show you a piece of excellent evaluation which kind of goes above and beyond, but is definitely the work of an A or an A-star student. Okay, this goes over two slides. So, both models fail to take into account biological factors, such as genetic mechanisms, as a reason for failure of dieting. For instance, the gene that codes lipoprotein lipase, LPL, is an enzyme produced by fat cells to help store calories as fat. It can cause the body to be especially competent at storing calories and can also make it easier to regain lost fat. Research has been carried out by Kern et al. where nine people who had lost an average of 90 pounds had their LPL levels measured before dieting. And three months later, they found that levels of LPL rose after weight loss and the more someone weighed to start off with, the higher their levels were. It seemed as though the body was trying to force itself to regain weight, which made the researchers believe that weight loss activates the gene that produces the enzyme, which could explain why dieters find it a lot easier to gain weight than non-dieters. So, that is a piece of fantastic evaluation and elaboration of the point. And you are under no doubt when you read that but actually, the person who wrote this really knows what they're talking about. They've done a lot of in-depth research. And basically, it's part of a really fantastic answer about the success and failure of dieting. So, what I'd like you to do is think very carefully about your own elaboration. Just try one little paragraph and see whether you can extend what you've already written or the theme of what you've already written. Go on. Give it a go.